Evan Fullen, what, we'll get you that story in just a bit, but first, a new era for District 1 in El Paso. I think that it's important to have people in council that are willing to that are willing to promote a better vision for El Paso, that are willing to think forward and not in the back. ABC 7 is learning more about newly elected city representative Peter Swarzbein. Yesterday, Swarzbein defeated his opponent in the runoff election, Al Weisberger, by more than 400 votes. He will take over the seat vacated by outgoing city rep Ann Morgan Lilly. ABC 7's J.B. Warren caught up with Swarzbein today to learn more about his district, his plans for District 1. She begins yes. our Your Voice, Your Vote coverage. Jamie? Evan Schwartzbein told me he's in favor of the city providing tax incentives to encourage more business and investment in our community. Meet Peter Schwartzbein. While the political newcomer says he doesn't have any proposals just yet. I'm really interested in, you know, quality life bonds. I'm really interested in, in simple but efficient ways that we can make the quality of life of our neighborhoods. Schwartzbein says he thinks the city can only do so much. Where the city comes in is, is looking at the kind of incentives it can to encourage, um, to encourage uh, investment in this community. And when it comes to spending. We also need to be more efficient with how we spend our tax dollars and we also need to to be aware that and understand that good government is good customer service. Right now I'm just really ready to to learn more in the system and and understand what what we can go what we can do and how, who I can work with. I asked Schwartzwein if he considers himself a progressive. He says he thinks the term has a sour tone, but said it's important to have people in council who are willing to promote a better vision for El Paso. The newly elected city council members will be sworn in June 30th. Back to you. Jamie, thank you.